All right, what's up my friends? It's the 10 New Brews Mog Monday crossover episode, episode 174 of Mog Monday. And uh, this is our seventh brew of 10 New Brews. And um, I'm gonna be away, obviously, at the Pro Tour, so we gotta make some um, some Goblin content up. And frankly, this is just an awesome, cool deck with the new cards based on Goblins. So we have a, a deck here. This is actually an update to a deck that I played already on, I don't know if it was Freshly Brewed or Mog Monday, it was Mog Monday. Uh, but where it's a Goblin deck in Standard, Pretty sweet, based around Goblin Blast Runner, like sacrifice-y, artifact-y stuff, uh, gets menace to sacrifice stuff. Sticky Fingers is an awesome enchantment. Uh, one one red, gives a creature menace, and it deals damage, pick a treasure, and then it dies, draw a card. And then we use the treasures from this to sacrifice to make this thing bigger. We got, uh, you know, Fable of the Bear Breaker, obviously, Synthesizer to sacrifice, and to get some cool stuff going, Voltage Surge. And now we add some new cards to the deck as well. Uh, two very, very good ones that are like, the deck was the deck 3 0 in the Freshly Bird episode. And the cards that get added to this deck are awesome. We have Exuberant Fuseling here, which is a 1-1 a one, one trample for 1, because uh, the ETB has an oil counter on it. And then whenever a creature or artifact dies, it gets another oil counter and gets plus 1, plus 0. So if two things die, it's a 3-1. So every treasure, every treasure sacrificed, every creature sacrificed gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Phenomenal 1-drop for this deck. Couldn't ask for more. It's also a goblin. So we have Blast Runner now is a goblin. Fuseling is a goblin. We have Fable the Mirror Breaker, M Tokens a Goblin, Squeeze a Goblin, Tokens a Goblin, Smelter's a Goblin, Horde Master's back on the menu. Uh, Horde Master here, pumping things up. And also, we have Goblins here in Gleeful Demotion, which is a super cool update to Koldatha Rebirth. Uh, a really awesome common from back in the day, just strictly better. This thing uh, destroys an artifact, so you can kill their stuff too. And if you control the artifact, you get three Goblins. So we can kill our own Synthesizers, kill our own Treasures. Uh, which is super cool. Killer on blood tokens. So I wish Epic Heroes a goblin. It'd make the decks a, a lot better for sure. But um, deck seems super sweet. It's fast, aggressive, powerful. Mitchell's Foundry, you get the idea. So that's the old brewski. Let's get right to the games. Brought to you by Coalesce Apparel. Boom! The jersey. There it is. Back on sale. Coalesceapparel.shop. You can get yours. It's uh, doing a second run of the jerseys. They are custom. It is your name, your number. Super, super high quality jerseys. I really am insanely impressed with how good they came out. And I've got mine right over there. Oh, nope, it's upstairs, I think, now. Uh, but it's the same, you know, logo shirt, obviously. Uh, but super awesome. Check it out. Also, other great stuff there. Tons of great shirts, hoodies. They have hats now, stickers, play mats. You name it. There, there I am again. Look, it's me. There I am. Call us apparel.shop. Again, promo code Jim10, 10% off your order. Call us apparel, uh, dot shop. All right, let's go. I'll put it up later. Okay, double fuseling, stone seeker, fable. Stone seeker's here just to uh, to give us an artifact sacrifice. So we played the white dominus so, so far. It was quite good. Chat, tell them about it. Get to keep double fuseling, stone seeker, fable. Pretty good. Let's get our fuseling on. Oil counter action. Mission research desk is a little too clunky, I think. All right, we have a crawling course. We draw Horde Master. Sweet, honestly. That's a great draw. Although, they will allow, that, allow them to attack us. I think it's fine, though. Let's say go a Fable next turn. Horde Master Fable's very nice. We have Stone Seeker plus Fusling and Treasures. The Dunvelt Horde Master in standard. That's right. Should I say go here? That's weird. That's very weird. All right, play a land. We'll attack. They had green mana, so this thing when it ETBs has for any color. Evil absence. Sure, honestly, that's fine. That pumps the fuseling, which is cool. Pumps fuseling and then exiles a, another horde master. <sighs> Wrong button. Wow. It's like there's a party in my mouth. All right. Invited. Well, now we're gonna cast the horde master instead of playing the uh, the fable. And we're going to play Fuseling. And we're just freaking doing it. Let's go. Now what? Blo old Blotsky. Old Blotsky is pretty good, to be totally fair. Stinky Fingers is here. Um, we could sack the clue and pump this. We could go, like, Stinky Fingers on this. If a double block, sack the clue and can trade. It's like fine. It's not ideal, but the old Blotsky is pretty good. Um, we can Epicure also. 
Sticky fingers here. Crack the clue if they block. I rather crack the clue. Crack the clue in Epic here. I think is like, but my hand's pretty good. Uh, so let's do this. Here's fingers. Let's see what they do. Attack. And if, if this hits and then we get a treasure, it's insane for us. These, these pump and I have to play a fable, so. Would love if they don't block, then blocking is also just, just fine, I think. So, do that. Activate. Pump both of these. Draw a card. Then we draw a card off the fingers also. We drew a land. Cool. So, kill that thingy. Draw. This thing gets bigger also. Triggers the Horde Master. And we miss on a Goblin, which is fine. We exiled a land, play a land, play Epicure, and say go. This card's freaking awesome. <laughs> this card's really good. 15, 19. Now what? What you got? Got my mug here. This is my uh, my number one dad mug. Job on duos and a chorus. Okay. It's funny this chorus is actually like pretty good against us, just like extra blockers. But double striker. Um, and we have Fable and Stone Seeker. We kind of want to hold the land to loot to Fable. We can just like not play Stone Seeker, honestly. Uh, our attacks aren't great here. I mean, I guess fusing trades with, like... A trade with two courses is pretty bad, actually. Let's just play Fable. I could also Blood, too. Um, hmm. Yeah, these can't block, it is true. Start by Blooding Away a Land. Yeah, maybe we'll start there. Alright, so... Let's try... Let's start that. Start there. Pump the, pump the Fusling up. Draw Land, sure. Um... They block up both of these. I deal three and trigger my my uh, my horde master, or I can just play fable and just wait till next turn. I'm gonna wait. I think. Maybe we can do better. I'll just say go. Hold the land. Say go. See if we draw like a voltage surge, or like a sticky fingers, or like another horde master, or just like something. Best deck so far was the black white uh, token deck with the white Dominus. The tokens can't block. These can block right now. Nothing. All right. Let's discard Stone Seeker and Mountain and draw Fingers and Horde Master. Oh, we're gobbling it up here. All right. So obviously super sketchy. They let left mana up here. They definitely have something. So I'm not really in a mood to try anything here. I think we're just gonna play Blast Runner and Fable, and then next turn we'll we'll go nuts with the Horde Master. So uh yeah. Just gonna play this. I guess the Fable could attack in theory, right? Their blocks there aren't very good. They, have, they obviously have like a trick here or something like that, so like maybe I'm just gonna chill. Just play Fable and say go. I'm in no rush. Our fables are flipping. They definitely have, like, you know, the plus X hexproof pump spell, or they just have something here. They're going to charge of the mites and kill my Horde Master. That's, I mean, that would have been bad in combat, I guess, so, sure. Second Horde Master. Here's the old Rot Priest and the Hive. All right, so now, now they're tapped out. Now's our attacking turn. Another Horde Master? Uh, we discard, uh, anything here? Sticky fingers? I'm not going to cast it, so, uh, it's really good on the Fireling, honestly, but then I can't cast multiple things. What do we do here? Um, just decline. Sure, whatever. Double Horror Bastards do our thing. Just get a Leroy. Well, I guess the Epicure is is dead to the uh, the duelist and everything else. The Epi Epicure can't attack, but we attack with this uh, is seven three, and these treasures will also pump it if I sack them.
Deck's kind of gas. I'm not going to lie. That's what they're saying. I hit it for them. Where do they, they guess Vindicator? <laughs> yeah, right. For Menace on Blast Runner? Uh, I, I could have, I guess. Sure. Um, there's a chump. It's got trample. All right, sure. Uh, I guess they were dead if I actually stacked both of these, but whatever, sure. So you go. I think this game is... Uh, Rapidly reaching its conclusion. It's like one and they die. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I mean, sure. What's up, uh, Tolo? Untap is a, should not be working for the new cards. Uh, so, I have it on for the old stuff, but the new cards shouldn't show, probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, just copy, copy. Do stuff. Leroy. Woo! Boy. Pow, 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 pow. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. They're obviously a little mad. Screw that game, but we'll take it. Standard goblins, what a time to be alive. Alright, so this 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 ant has demotion or demolition plus synthesizers, but no creatures. Why are they so late to update? The set doesn't release for four days. <laughs> like, it's not even out yet. They leave, they actually can't get on a server where the, the thing is on. So, they usually have it out within a day. Like, they're very fast. Um, we, I mean, like, Synth plus Lethal is really good. But the problem is you can't play Synth until, like, turn two or at least turn two, if not turn three. So, like, if I knew these Surges are really good... I would probably keep, but I think we need to mulligan. I don't know. I'm just going to keep. Whatever. Most of our cards cost one. Hope so. Hopefully Surge is good. If the Surge isn't good, whatever. I'll make it work. Planes, go. Stone Seeker, awesome. Great draw. So I can demolish the Power Stone, or I can synthesize it, or I can do a lot of things. Is it another Infect deck? Nope. Gallic Readers. Okay. Epicure. So. Um. I want to kill this for sure. Do we try and Synth for a land? Do we risk it? I don't want to risk it. I don't think. I guess like whatever. This card sucks, right? Just Synth. Sure. Give me a Synth. One mountain, please. That's not a mountain. God. Alright. That sucks. So you go. Loran of the third path. I guess kill the synth. It's pretty annoying. So now the uh I will exile a card now, but I can't play it. No! Somebody's playing a prank on me! It is unfortunately not till the end of your next turn. It is is this turn, so. Alright, drew him out anyway, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's synth again, I think. And then we hit a sticky fingers. Love it. Fire up the fingers. Attack. In, to make a treasure. And then we... We can, like, gleeful the... Power Stone, we, we can we can Voltage Surge something, we can play Epicure. A lot of options here. Um, the Greeters is, might get out of hand. I'll just say like, go, I think, and we'll see what they do. And we'll kill the Greeters if we need to. It's just like go. Let them think they have access to it. The next turn will Gleeful the Synthesizer, probably. Should take the one. Sure, whatever. What do you got? Fauna Shaman. 
We're only at two foundries. Uh, obviously, we want a lot of red, but I think two is fine. <sighs> yeah, I'll kill this in response. What's up, Adam? Flawless Shaman's fun. Not a new card, it's in Brothers War. Okay. Go on. And Spirited Companion. Sure. Tolo, you are out of your mind. <laughs> Don't you realize that they can't even access the server yet? <laughs> You're being ridiculous. Um... We can Smelter here, which is pretty good. Uh, so you can pay with the Power Stones, so you'll have our Surge up, which is awesome. The problem is that we can't necessarily uh, utilize the Synthesizer card. So... This is a little awkward, because like, they're now putting enough crap in play, but it's kind of hard to attack. I kind of want to draw... Uh, I guess this isn't even a Goblin anyway, but... Let's, um... Let's just start by Gleeful. Gleeful on the Synthesizer. Let's see what happens. Let's start there. We can also actually just like sacrifice the Synth to just make a 2-2. I don't think it's crazy either, but let's do this. Uh, synth will reveal land. Okay. So we can land. Smelter. Sack the Power Stone, attack, and then surge the Fauna Shaman. I do want to kill us. They double lock it. I kind of like that. So, sack this, surge this. And then, if they don't double block here, I can play the Epicure too. That's pretty cool. We should, have, we, should have, we should have Bushwhacker, you know? Cool. Ball player's draw? I would love a draw here. Give me a draw. Give me a draw. Give me a card! Give me a card! Mommy? Mother? That turns off my Epicure? That's kind of shitty. Uh, alright. We... That's annoying. Mm, better to see if they block with the... Eh, maybe you're right. See if they block with the Shaman and try and two-for-one them. I guess I better, you're right. Okay, um... They have a 4-7. They block here. Take 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can just smelt the foundry too, honestly. My And my ETB effect does not work. Just smelt the foundry, right? So, they block this, take five, they take eight and go to four? All right. Maybe? What, they, they, what's going on here? What, what are they looking at? They have one mana up, so they got a trick here. We might be in trouble. They're going to block a smelter and not a three one? That can't be good. That's a problem. All right. Sure. Nice, etc. Yada yada yada. Yeah. 
All right, that's a five power lifelinker. I mean, everything was fine until they played that. Uh, I guess. Oh my god, I get the oil counter. Oh my god. Yeah, this sucks. Um, I have to just like smelt a token just to like bump this thing up, but we just can't beat the five. We can't beat the life linger. If I tag up both, I guess if I tag up both, they have to block, right? Yeah, because they can't block one and take it. So that would. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that that works actually. So let's do that. So, um. So attack up both of these, and then they have to block with the adversary, and it will die. So they'll gain five life, but we'll kill this at least. They're just dead. They gain. If they, we attack with everything else, the five three blocks the two two. This blocks here. And they take six, and they gain five. So we lose. So we, they go to eight. They go back to two, and we die. Uh. So, um. Yeah. So block both. They go to eight. The fuseling goes up, which is cool. This card's so good. I don't. Even, I, I don't think we could ever kill this. So I don't know if we should wait and play this or not. But let's wait, I guess. If they can't gain life, we can swarm. We kept both smelters. Kayla's for four. Oh my god, this is terrifying. That was pretty good for them. Uh, well, green-white creature deck beats mono-red deck. News at 11. Green-white life lanky creature deck. These decks always crush red decks. All right, you got me. All right, you got me. 101. <laughs> right, 101. Uh, hands great. Like, phenomenal. We have Fusling and a Fingers. Fusling, Fingers, and then Seeker or Horde Master. Yes, early access is for new content. It's for, it's for content creators, yes. It's a one day event. Usually it's the day before the uh the day before the uh set releases. This time it's not. It's uh but... And then we're gonna Horde Master or Stone Seeker. Haunted Ridge. Stone Seeker doesn't really do much for us. Let's play Horde Master. Pump this, pump that, pump this, pump that. Really want this to live. Oh, it lives. Oh, it lives. It's goblin time, folks. It's goblin goblin in time. Uh, that's not good. Uh, all right. So they're going to try to reanimate this. We need to kill them before we do that. Simple as that. Um, we're going to attack and play Fable. There's no blood from the the epic hero because the gives an Elish Norn. So yeah, play Fable and we got eight power in play with more on the way. Here's Fable of their own. They're trying they're trying to out goblin me. All right, draw voltage surge. Pretty cool. Let's discard Seeker and Fable. I think. Yeah, and we draw. I didn't want to draw two mountains there, but sure. Uh, land blast runner. Uh, we're gonna attack. I'm just gonna sack the treasure. to voltage surge. So I pump it and get more damage in. So we're in for eight. They're at six. I have a treasure. It's your turn. So we have a five, a six power mana creature, a four power mana creature, and two other creatures also. Just friggin' don't wrath me or something. <laughs> I guess if they play uh, like a Brotherhood's End, I get four triggers off Horde Master, so, and draw a card. And I still have Fable. <laughs> as long as it's your creatures and not my creatures, we're good to go. That's fine. 
Two and one. Those are all pain lands too, yeah. Love it. Man, fire fusing into sticky fingers is so good. Let's go. Got the old gleeful too. I'm actually very impressed with how good the uh the horde the run belt horde master's been. It was like kind of only okay in the prior version of a deck, or I felt like I was just putting it in because it's Mog Monday. But like it act it feels actively good in this deck. That was easy. Mountain. Don't you dare. Alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. Let's draw land for a squee, please. Vindictive Flame Stoker. Strangle again. Alright. I see how it's gonna be. It's the strangle deck, huh? Alright. Exile land, draw land. Maybe still squee here. Epic here goes out of place. We just need a card that makes an artifact that's like still playable. Uh, if Epic Hero is a goblin, it'd be great. But like the, the artifact density is important because we, we have all these artifact cards. So it's just fear. Great. Uh, all right, sure, I guess. They're like kind of killing all my shit, but we draw lands. This costs a lot to flashback. Uh. I mean, Epicure, Demotion. Cole's currently trashing my office off screen, trying to be quiet. Um, not doing a very good job. Um, let me like, if you play Sticky Fingers now, so I'm going to play it now so I don't get fizzled. And honestly, if it just dies, I'm, I, have card, I get card cards for Squee, too, so. Grab Battery is just... The thing is that Epicure gives you a piece of material you actively want to sacrifice, and it's a one-drop for Sticky Fingers, so. Everyone say happy birthday to Cole. It's like Cole's birthday. Uh, shit. We don't have anything to do here. All right. I guess this pumps this. If they have one spell, sure. We actively want a card that grave ever squeeze. So, yeah, it's Nicole's birthday, and I spent literally all day in front of my computer <laughs> from seven seven thirty a.m. to to now. Luke, it's your birthday too. Happy birthday, Luke. Luke, it's your birthday. I don't get to play magic on my wife's birthday. I have to play magic on my wife's birthday. It's my job. <laughs> Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay. They've really uh, hit a wall here. Like, what happened? They, it's a great start. They just haven't done anything. I mean, they can sack this thing now for to draw four. Just card their hand, draw four. But uh, just play Fable once I go. Play StarCraft. Nicole, me and Nicole play StarCraft 2v2s. Wait, so me, 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 I would love to be playing, I'd love to be playing StarCraft with Nicole right now. It'd be a, it'd be a great birthday. All right, so sack this thing, discard their hand, and draw it four. They discard two Mistress Factories. Odd they wouldn't play those to the mountains, but sure. And so they go. We've got four cards in the bin now. Need one more for this thing. We got Fable going off. We got... They got stuff. They got stuff too. Swifty. Sure, I guess. Huh. Just deals one extra damage. Um. Tony Cole. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. I'll make sure she gets that. I appreciate it. Um, I kind of want to block with Epicure and just draw a card and get the cards to give her for Squeeze, so I'm just going to block one of these. Seems a little weird, but... We need to call it Starcraft together. Starcraft together in quite a while, actually. <gasps> Horde Master's great. Okay. Draw land here? No. Blast Runner? 
If I go, if I draw a lander, I can go Squee and Horde Master, which is actually insane. Um, let's discard the runner. Try to draw a land. That's good too. Sure, whatever. Play Synthesizer. See what turns up. It's a Voltage Surge. We're gonna cast this and sacrifice it um, to do ensure this dies and see what see what Synth turns up. So, thought I was an indie. That's the throwback Thursday picture is a throwback picture. That picture's from like five years ago or eight years ago or something like that. Uh, there was an open in Indy and me and Nicole went to a, uh, a Jets game with my buddy Jay and his wife. That was their that was their baby moon before they had a kid. They have three kids now. So that was a long time ago. The old throwback Thursday. Horned Stone Seeker. That's also fine. Um... I'm going to play Horde Master. If they kill my Goblin in response and I can't play Stone Seekers, so be it. Sick. I am very happy with how this game is gone. Kill a Horde Master? Sure. So I played on Prowess. Awesome. That's good. That's good. That's good. Take a bunch. Here's Stone Seeker. Squeeze on top. They're at eight. We got some Power Stones, some Fables, and some Goblins. We're doing good. The fill. Oh my god. Probably no better card in the entire format against us than the Filigree Silix. Just Ratchet Bomb. Un freaking believable. Oh, made the goblin tokens. New card here. Uh, lethal demotion. Or demolition, sorry. Un freaking believable. Alright. Uh, that is a very odd card to have in their deck. I agree, but sure. Didn't see that one coming. Here's Synthesizer revealing a mountain. Alright. I mean, go get him, buddy. The old squee. We're still, like, way in this game, for sure. Yeah, I think we're, we're probably, honestly, ahead. All right, never mind. They have a... Sure. I would say we're ahead here. It's, like, reflection, six lands, two factory... Factories and a synthesizer versus a Suspear and a Warfare. If you take three here, sure, whatever. Try another land, sure. Um... We don't want to make the synth token. This destroys non-lands, right? Yeah. It's another Silix, yeah. Um, they're at eight. It's two, four, six, seven. I'm gonna leave factory back to block. We're one short of killing them. Like, I don't want to die in the backswing of this warfare, so. This is mana value three, yeah. Not making a token, they just kill a token with the uh, the Silix, so. Alright, and an oil counter, okay. So now it doesn't kill anything relevant. It kills their own Suspear and my Synthesizer. Think that's it. Epicure for an extra ding. Try and copy Epicure and see what happens. Then just fire up double foundries. That's what I'm talking about. Game. That's a game. Blouses. In the battle of the mono reds. No one drop. No one drop. Well, we're still going to keep, but... Just draw one drop. That's not one drop. Ugh. Alright. Tap land. Voltage surge. We're going to... 
Stone Seeker. How many decks to go? This is deck seven. Oh, please kill it response. That'd be sick. <laughs> Alright, so. Stone Seeker dead. Power Stone dead. Can set up for Synth. Liliana of the Veil? This Not for sure. Is my home, and I drop it. And I drop it? Drop it like it's hot. Alright, so we're gonna uh, synthesize her and try not hit a three drop here. No fable, please. No! Oh! Alright, sure. No! God damn it. Uh, I can kill Oliana by stacking a synthesizer here. It just like takes so much effort to do so. I don't think we want to, honestly. I don't really care if they discard. God, what an awkward, awkward chain of events there. Alright, uh, let's say go. Discard the mountain to the uh, Liliana. They discarded a Siphon Insight. Sure. Go nuts. All my cards suck, so like... Player discards, yep. We all have things we'd rather forget. And... Untap and draw. A voltage surge. So let's smelter and sack a synthesizer. Hopefully we draw a land of a synthesizer, please. Oh, they have another cut down pretty bad. They have another cut down. Oh, you s God damn it. I oh, it's my voltage surge? Betrayed by my own voltage surge? How terrible. Oh, what a... Uh, this, this Liliana should be so awful against us. We should never one-drop this game. Oh, man. This has been a gross game. All right. Um, that's fine. <sighs> I think I want to just make these two twos, but I also want to surge the Liliana because, like, it is on five. We can't be ultimated. Oh my god, what a gross game. All right. I could have done this last turn. Maybe I should have. To land, please. Alright. I guess we'll just finish it off now. This just feels so bad. <laughs> just so many cards. Alright. Yeah. They have two cards left. I mean, I guess, like, all things considered, they have three cards to my one and a synthesizer. So, like, that's... Alright, sure. That's, that's, that's about as good as it gets. Alright, uh... Yeah, and now our surges are gone because they, they stole my surge. So we have one kill spot left in our whole deck. Yeah. I should be actually mulligan. There's no one drop. It's just not okay. Gotta have that one drop. Gotta have it. Alright. Draw land. Sure. Synth. Yeah, we're just dead, I think. Once you start growing, you just, like, can't win. Yeah. <sighs> About to have a 4-4. Four, four. Well, it's a very sticks. It's really good. We're playing Teferi later in our Planeswalker deck. There is much Proliferating with Teferi is also insane, because he bumps the Teferi and the token. It's got Vigilance, too. It's gross. Stinky fingers. Ooh. So you're telling me there's a chance if they have, if they have nothing. All right. Can't apply on anything here. Okay. I don't know why they would ever not kill it. Response. So. Maybe. All right. I'm not backing down. I guess wanting makes sense. That that it. End step. Takanuma, milling Kaido. Denik. And they return the Kaido. All right. Yeah, this thing's getting a little out of hand, honestly. Who is that handsome devil? Take it easy, Teferi, all right? Take it easy. No secret is safe from me. Yeah, we're just dead. 
Yeah, tough game. We just like probably should have mulligan. Our hand just wasn't was just wasn't good enough. Um, and they hit their they hit their beats for sure. Like Liliana should be heinous against us. We're like a cold off the rebirth deck, you know. But it just like happened to line up perfectly for some reason. So Mistress Foundry, yeah, we're super dead. Uh. If we killed the fairy now, we just yeah, whatever. We're just dead. That's fine. Alright, so we went 3 2. Uh deck's pretty sweet though. The fuse thing was really, really good. Um Yeah, just I don't know. I mean, like the deck was already pretty cool before that card. And then adding that card, I think we're like I definitely a little unsure on some of the some of the uh on the, some of the numbers. This is a this is a, a, a advanced mod Monday, yes. This is a mod Monday crossover episode. Um Fuse thing's insane. Not sure how many Gleefuls you want. Not sure how many Smelters you want. Not sure how many Stone Seekers you want. Epicure. If we could find a better card than Epicure, it'd be great. But, like, there only are eight one drops with Blast Runner and Fuseling. So, like, you really want to have that one drop for Fingers. If you're playing Fingers, you got to play at least, like, you know, 10 to 12 one drops. So, like, that's a little, little confusing as far as what you want there. And then, like, the Stone Seekers, like, give you that token you want. But it's not a Goblin. Smelter is a Goblin, but has diminishing returns because you can't have like that many of them. Although multiple copies are good with the with the Fuseling, you can just keep like sacrificing it over and over and over again, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, definitely a super cool deck. I'll work on it more for sure. Um, yeah, deck sweet. YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Next, next coming up on stream.